Hey guys, what's going on? In today's lesson, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about live streaming and the benefits to live streaming and how it can help you in your music career. Uh, there are a number of benefits. I think the number one most important, biggest benefit is that you're able to capture an audience that you wouldn't be able to capture without touring, going to, and I'm talking about all around the world, so you're capturing, you can reach people and countries all around the world i've made fans in russia i've made fans in japan i've made fans in the netherlands i've made fans in the philippines more people in the united states so on and so forth um it's really great for musicians that are trying to expand even especially um you know touring can be very hard on certain artists even artists that are touring acts are getting more into the live streaming space there are several very well-known, highly regarded artists that stream on a regular basis. Uh, T-Pain is one of them. Timbaland's another one. Mark Hoppus from Blink-182 is another. Um, and you're seeing it more and more. People coming on uh, to various live streaming platforms and hang either hanging out with people or showcasing their craft or whatever it might be. Um, so I think that is the biggest benefit is reaching an audience you wouldn't be able to get otherwise. Um, the other thing I think is huge is, you know, it's very important to have multiple sources of income when you are a working artist, producer, DJ, whatever it is that you do. And what is so great about live streaming are there are multiple sources of income as it is with streaming. Uh, I think the one people are most familiar with is donations, um, whether it's direct through the platform. You know, there's... Um, usually something on every platform where people can donate through the platform there's direct donations whether it's through paypal venmo cash app that's very normalized in the streaming space uh, there are sponsorships there are branding deals which is like basically affiliate marketing if you get a personalized link if somebody from your streams buys a product from that company you usually get a percentage that's somewhere between i think the lowest i've seen is five percent the highest i've seen is 50 percent um so there's that there is on many platforms uh not all of them but on youtube and twitch there is ad revenue so both youtube and twitch show ads twitch shows them before you see somebody stream and they will also show ads during you get a cut of that every time an ad shows and the percentage of that depends on what your I guess your partnership level with Twitch is um, you have to be an affiliate to even monetize from it and then partners get a higher percentage of that going back to I think the biggest benefit is reaching an audience who wouldn't have reached otherwise this is my numbers for the last quarter um, as you can see I stream quite a bit I did uh, 400 hours of streaming 67 days in the quarter uh, but I got 1800 new people to follow me to check out my music I had 89,000 new viewers new people follow me I mean I guess no, that wasn't all new some of it was uh, people that have been there before but I'm still reaching a new audience every time and the numbers continue to go up I had 21.27k watch hours, so 21,270 watch hours for the quarter. Um, and that's just, that's all new people that wouldn't have seen me otherwise. Uh, you got people from the US, from Russia, Ukraine, Greece, Bolivia, Brazil. I mean, getting people all around the world that probably wouldn't have heard my music without me streaming. Uh, the various streaming platforms all have their benefits. They all mostly do the same thing. Uh, you got Twitch, YouTube, Facebook Gaming, and Trovo. Trovo is the one I'm showing you guys right here. Newer platform. I am a big believer in stream on all of them. Um, but this is kind of like home base for me. You can pick whichever you think suits you best. They're all pretty much the same. Twitch's algorithm is probably worse, the worst out of all of them, but it also has um, a big audience for music. Music is a small niche on Twitch still. It, Twitch is still largely gaming, um, 
you see just chatting streamers and stuff like that and that kind of dominates the platform so music is still a small niche on there so i actually think twitch is a good platform for musicians right now though it doesn't have the best algorithm youtube's algorithm is a little bit better but they don't have as much of an audience in the streaming space yet as twitch does uh facebook is strictly gaming i believe and then trovo um it has a benefit to where it's a bit easier to get an, an audience it's easier to get a following but they have a smaller audience at a the others because they're the newest platform they just got out of beta i think just a few months ago or six months ago whatever it was so they're still new um these numbers you guys are seeing right here are relatively small in the streaming space uh on this particular platform they're uh, pretty big i'm actually one of the bigger streamers on the platform so it's it's a growing platform um my recommendation is try all of them see which one works best for you don't be afraid to stream to all of them at one time as well uh, I'll tell you guys how to you could do that there is a website called restream.io you can get a free uh, excuse me it's free membership or you can upgrade don't really know what the pro does uh, don't have it I just use it for restreaming to multiple platforms at once. I usually stream to Twitch and Trovo at the same time. Um, really easy to set up into OBS, Streamlabs, whatever it is you're streaming from. Um, those are both software that you can download to actually stream from your computer, your device, whatever it is. Uh, if you're streaming on a PC or a Mac, you can use either one of those um streamlabs is a bit easier because you can just log right in from your accounts and simply just hit go live and you're pretty much ready to go if you can even stream on mobile if that's something like if you want to you know such as myself if you're if you're traveling or something you can do mobile streaming platforms such as twitch has an app I believe Facebook Gaming has an app. I don't know if you can stream directly from it. Um, there are uh, something called Stream Champs for both Android and iOS that you can use to stream from. If you, you know, if you're traveling, got to do a, a presentation. You got to do something on a tablet or on a phone, whatever it might be. Um, there's a few of them. Streamlabs has a mobile app. So the point is, is you can pretty much stream wherever you are at any time which is uh pretty cool i think that's really cool about streaming another tip i want to give you guys too before i get out of here kind of winging this as i go because i could talk about streaming for a very 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 long time because it gets pretty in depth but we'll we'll stick to the basics for now there is something called stream elements which is a chat bot um you can use this to set up custom commands so let's say you're promoting a song right you can set it up to where you have a chat bot that posts your link every five minutes in the chat so everybody that comes to your stream will see your release and you can just promote it that way um it has another cool function called revenue where you can set it up to get direct donations and it has you know, like a good, good security system, so you don't got to worry about getting hacked. You don't got to worry about somebody donating to you and then charging back, and then you're in the hole. Um, it's called Stream Elements Payments, SE Payments. Uh, I won't go into that right now because it's got my personal information. Actually, let me go back and not scroll down. Um, then it has its sponsorship tab, which is what I really wanted to show you guys. When you get into streaming consistently, you should unlock this inside of stream elements as long as you have a stream elements account set up and connected with your streaming platforms occasionally you'll get some offers for sponsorships i've gotten a few from raid shadow legends hello fresh um, i've completed these a few times you can some of these you can get quite a lot of money uh, such as this stream and share hello fresh reach your goals and earn up to five thousand dollars so basically every time you sign up 
a new subscriber you'll get paid a commission you can earn up to 5,000 this one was uh, 340 this one you can earn up to 12,000 so on and so forth I've had a, even a couple that have missed uh, factor 75 make up to twelve hundred dollars so that just adds to your sources of revenue as a musician but it's another pool where there's it's like one thing being streaming but then there's like six different avenues of monetization within that world too it's very very cool um, so I highly recommend you guys check it out I've been a big proprietor of live streaming since about 2016 and I made a prediction a long time ago that it would absolutely explode uh, didn't know it would be something such as a pandemic that made that happen but I was I was pretty much right on the money it did explode and now you're seeing celebrities and you know the NFL streams games on Twitch uh, I think on Mondays they do it so I would definitely get into it if you if you haven't thought about it already definitely look into it if you've been thinking about doing it make that jump if you're already doing it um you know maybe you, you can look in maybe you got some ideas to where you can look into other ways to improve your streams and and your revenue from it best of luck guys happy streaming hope this helped have a great night